My name is Jonah Jonathan, and thanks for watching the Jazz Musician's Voice. I wanted to talk about a great interview I did today with a fantastic pianist named uh, Francois Rossat. He's a French pianist or on the uh, Montreal Quebec scene. Um, you know, fantastic like uh, jazz and avant-garde pianist, uh, somebody who studied in Boston but uh, eventually developed themselves in Montreal. Uh, I was contacted by his management to do this interview because uh, it was a great opportunity for uh, my series to feature artists that might not be known in New York but are still on an incredibly high level. So uh, I did a great interview with this guy. He was actually um, right before the sound check for a show for a, a famous uh, bassist in Montreal. Uh, his name is uh, Michel Denido. Uh, in fact, um, this guy uh, had been playing in New York uh, and then eventually in Montreal since the 1960s. It's his 80th birthday and it was being celebrated at Jesu uh, at the Montreal International Jazz Festival. Uh, so uh, Francois, um, he sat down with me and discussed a little bit about his life and some of the music. I really think you'll enjoy the interview, but I encourage you to check out these guys. There's so many of them, and um, I'll include a, a photograph of the, uh, the concert. Um, man, another big name that was there, uh, did a duo with this bass player. Uh, we're talking about Elaine Coron. Uh, he was the bass player for Uzeb, which is one of the biggest fusion name bands um, in all of Canada and around the world. Um, so, you know, these guys up in Canada don't mess around. They're some of the top musicians and uh, we wanted to feature them. So thanks for watching. Um, stay tuned. We've got a lot more interviews coming up. Um, check out my like tours of Montreal. Like I, I really believe in like uh, sharing this information with the public so that they get an opportunity to enjoy this great art form we call jazz. So, stay tuned for future interviews, and uh, comment, like, share, and um, yeah, uh, just uh, follow along, because we lot, got a lot more content coming. Thanks for watching. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, today I'm really fortunate to interview uh, one of the top uh, pianists on the Montreal jazz scene, uh, Francois Mouassa. Yes, sir. <laughs> and, uh, you know, we were talking just before the interview. Uh, man, you went to New England Conservatory with some very heavy musicians. At the time, yeah. I did my master's degree there in 1986-87. Uh, I studied with uh, Fred Hirsch and uh, also uh, Miroslav Vistus was there, Bob Moses, uh, Mick Goodrick, George Russell, Rand Blake. Yeah, great uh, yeah, you know, great like, musicians. Uh, a lot of people don't realize, like, the Boston music scene, like, there were some incredible people who came out of Boston. Um, you know, even uh, all the guys I know, like, New England Conservatory guys, like, uh, I know Mo Group particularly told me about living in a, an apartment with James Williams and uh, <laughs> other guys. Um, what was the jazz scene like there in Boston at the time? It was great. Uh, we were going, often there was a club named... Name, uh 1369, there was another place called Regatta Bar. I saw some uh, great Regatta players. Bar. Yeah, yeah right. I see Ron uh, there, Ron Carter. Oh, yeah. yeah. I saw there Freddie Hubbard, I saw Phil Woods and Tom Harrell. Uh, uh, at the Symphony Hall, I think I saw Keith Jarrett. And uh, so, yeah, it was, it was very inspiring. Yeah. Yeah, and you know, um, when you do go to Boston, like a lot of people don't realize it's like a a major hub for the classical music as well. Like, yes. uh, I, I went there and saw a performance of Winter Marsalis All Rise, uh, Symphony Hall, Boston. Yeah. You know, obviously you got Tanglewood, but that's off, off on the other side of Massachusetts. But um, did you have like any influences with the classical music on you and on your studies? Yes, before my master uh, at NEC uh, in Boston, I did a bachelor at McGill University in Montreal in, in modern composition. So, yeah. and uh, then I, I went to jazz after that, but yes, I studied the classical uh, music for sure. Yeah. Oh, that's really great, you yeah. know. Um, and now you're here in Montreal, like you really carved, carved a niche for yourself. Um, but a lot of us uh, musicians in New York, like, uh, unless we're like more hip and really understand things, like, don't know much about yeah. um, 
the jazz scene in Montreal. Uh -huh. uh, can you talk a little bit about the jazz scene and about uh, the francophone scene, mm -hmm. like, uh, mm -hmm. the musicians that are part of that? Yes, there's a great, uh, many great musicians in Montreal for sure. Like, uh, yeah, there's many great players, and uh, either in the, in the English language or French, because we're bilingual here. There's many uh, yeah. French and uh, English musicians that are great. There's uh, four universities and uh, many young great players also so yeah the scene is exciting for sure it is you know like and the festival is is, is the festival wonderful is great and like it's been going on for like 40 50 years like yeah since incredible. 1979 or 1980 maybe yeah yeah and um like uh something that i did not realize about montreal is like uh how big of like a uh, a black artist scene was up here in Montreal because uh -huh. I uh, talked with um, the great Oliver Lake, yeah, right? or not Oliver Lake, uh, Oliver Jones. Oliver Jones. Talked with him and he told me about our Tatum and coming uh, up here. Yeah. Um, you know what had happened is with Montreal, there became a big uh, scene of uh, free black mm -hmm. slaves that eventually really? formed their own. Wow. Here. Okay. It's different than the United States because uh -huh. the United States has the that influence. Yeah. Up here, uh, even from like the early 1900s, they were not uh, so concerned about yeah. that. Allowed them to have their own different thing. You yeah, know? yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, but uh, now talk about a little bit about your music because um, you're performing tonight here. That's at right. Jesus. Yeah, it's a uh, JC was one of the premier venues of the Montreal Jazz Festival. Uh -huh. Some of the greatest musicians come yeah. through here. Great acoustic here, very nice. It's a good place. sound. Yeah, very good sound. Um, so talk a little bit about your music and your project. Yeah, well, I have my own quartet. I do original music, uh, but tonight is for the anniversary of Michel Donato. He's 80 years old. He's a great player from Montreal who played with Bill Evans, he played with Oscar Peterson, he played with uh, Zoot Sims, so many, so many. He, uh, Gonzalo Rubalcaba. The, the list is very long. He's a famous uh, jazz musician in Montreal. And tonight, it's like a, ce a celebration for his 80th birthday. There's, there's many uh, guest musicians like me and some other uh, players tonight. So it's for Michel Donato, the great bass player from Montreal. Yeah, that's great. You know, um, in terms of venues in Montreal, um, I learned a little bit. I mean, I've, I've been coming to Montreal nine or ten years now doing these videos. Uh -huh. um, talk about a little of the clubs, because I know that every club has its own like thing. You got liaisons. Yes. You have upstairs. Yes. You have uh, uh, resonance. It's a more, more modern venue adventure venue. Right, more adventurous yeah you had um the biddles uh, that the bass player um yeah charlie biddle but charlie it, biddle. it changed name it used to be out of jazz yeah and but, that that was a club yeah they had their thing um and what what club did you gravitate to and what was you what did you like to yeah the two main club i me where i uh, where i used to played Montreal, it's upstairs, and uh, Diaisons. Mm -hmm. I, I just played at Diaisons last week. <clears throat> and um, yeah, it's two great clubs. Yeah, and uh, it's very fun to play there, yeah. And uh, you know, what I like about <laughs> Diaisons is a little bit outside of the center of Montreal. Mm -hmm. So you have a lot of shops and stuff over there. Uh, believe it or not, sometimes I'll come with my dad. Uh, my yeah. dad is a professor at UVM. He's oh, yeah? retired now, but when I was with him, sometimes he'd be like, oh, what do you feel? Like, five o'clock, he'd be like, you want to go see some jazz? <laughs> drive to Montreal. Great. We, we come back at uh, two or three in the morning, you know? Great time. Wonderful. Have a drink. Uh, yeah. Running. The last time I was there was 2019. We saw Dave Binney. Oh, wow. He was just here uh, yesterday, David. Yep. yep. Yeah. Uh, so, like, uh, in terms of, like, uh, Montreal and, and your music, uh, what's the future for your projects? What do you, what do you envision? I just recorded a, a live album last week. We played two nights in a studio, but with a small crowd. So uh, it's uh, my quartet. I also recorded a solo piano album in France last year. And I'm also in different projects. You know, uh, I play with other musicians. So yeah, I'm quite busy. It's, a, a, it's a great, yeah, it's a great scene. 
but we wish to travel. We went to uh, Germany uh, in April at the Jazz Ahead convention, mm -hmm. and we played also in Budapest in Paris. So uh, yeah, it's going well. I mean, this after two years of uh, tough times, but yeah, it's starting to be a bit better. The music scene is uh, is truly global music. Yeah, um, I I agree with you with the tough times because uh, I was doing um, interviews from my home. Yeah, people don't leave. Yeah. So we just did interviews. We talked about a lot of stuff. Yeah. A lot of people were worried uh -huh. about the future. I said, don't worry, it's coming back. Yeah, yeah. And now we're here. Tonight, it's, a, it's an example. It's, it's going to be full, many, many players on the stage. So I hope, I hope it's going to be better. Yeah, you know, from the, yeah. I think, if anything, the, the future of this music is in good hands with yeah. people like such as yourself. Yeah. Now the musicians, are on another level they're all trained yeah that's right we didn't have that before yeah now with conservatories especially musicians who come to the levels oh, of so what do i wait 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 Miles or those people would of know course. about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were there, but they didn't get a chance, the yeah. opportunity to have the resources we That's have. right. And like, uh, I think we will be hitting jazz renaissance. There is opportunities here in the world now for mm -hmm. us to take it to the next. For sure, for sure. There are so many uh, options of diff so different style and the university and the all the information, it's so easy now to get all the information of the great players. So. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Well, so. you know, uh, thank you so much for it's speaking to us. My place, Where my can place. people check your music out who are watching this? Yeah. Uh, your website or? Yeah, exactly. My website, francoisbourassa.com. And on YouTube, I have uh, yeah. different links. And, well, yeah. you know, thanks for speaking with us. I'm sure we'll speak again, like we'll revisit. Yes. But you got a sound check. That's thank right. You, thank you for speaking with us and, uh, you know, it's, giving a little bit of your... Uh, it's my big pleasure. You know, thank you very much, Aneta. Thanks a lot. Thank you.